right, today we're going to look at reflecting points across your x and y axes. Your x-axis is your horizontal axis and your y-axis is your vertical axis. When you're reflecting across your x, your x-coordinate doesn't change, but your y-coordinate becomes the opposite number. When you reflect across your y-axis, your x-coordinate becomes the opposite number and your y-coordinate stays the same. So let's look at this example with our x-axis reflection. So this point is at 1, 2, and when I reflect this point, I'm thinking it's going over my x-axis, so my x value will stay the same and my y value will become the opposite. So let's look at the animation of how that point is reflected. And if I think about my coordinate points, it's going to be 1, negative 2. Let's do a few examples. I'm going to have you try this one. Go ahead and put your finger where you think this point will be. I'll pause it for a little bit. And once you're ready, go ahead and play the video again. Ready? Let's go ahead and check your answer. Did you get it? This coordinate point, now think about what this coordinate will be. It's going to be 3, negative 4 because your x coordinate stays the same and your y coordinate becomes the opposite. Let's try another one. So this point is negative 1, 3. Put your finger where you think it is. Let's watch the animation. Now I want you to think of the coordinates. The coordinates here are negative 1, negative 3. How are you doing so far? Let's keep going. Go ahead and put your finger where you think this point will be reflected to. Okay, did you get that? Now think about the coordinates. What will your new coordinates be? Negative 4, 2. Okay, put your finger where you think the new point will be. And let's animate it. Now I want you to think of the coordinates. What will your new coordinates be? 0, negative 1. Okay, let's do one last one. Put your finger where you think the co new coordinates will be. And let's animate it. Okay, now think of the coordinate points. 2, comma, positive 3. So as a reminder, when you're reflecting across your x, x stays the same, y becomes opposite. Now I'm going to just give you the coordinate points, and I want you to figure out what are the reflected coordinates going to be. Pause if you need to. I'm just going to click through these examples, and if you need some time, just pause the video. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now let's look at reflecting across your y-axis. When you're reflecting across your y, your x value becomes the opposite and your y value stays the same. So let's look at this animation here. So again, our point is 1, 2, and it's reflecting across our y-axis. Our new point is negative 1, positive 2, right? Our x value becomes the opposite, our y value stays the same. So let's do some example problems. Put your finger where you think it'll be. Let's animate it. Now think of the coordinate. Let's go ahead and look at it. So it's negative 3, comma, negative 3. Okay, let's try this one. Put your finger where you think it'll be. Let's animate it. Think of the coordinates. It's 5, comma, negative 5, comma, 3. Okay, put your finger where you think it'll be. Let's animate it. Think of the coordinates. It's positive 4, comma, 0. And last one, put your finger where you think it'll be. Let's animate it. Think of the coordinates. It's 2, comma, 4. So again, your x becomes opposite, y stays the same. Let's look at these points now. So I'm going to flip through them. Think about what the new point will be when you reflect across the y. OK, 
Okay, let me know how you did. If you need to watch the video again, please do so. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Bye.